This is NewHampshireCrossCountry.com, powered by Runners Alley, coming to you from the 2017 Capital City Classic. I'm here with Forrest McKenzie, who was the champion today on the boys varsity side of things. He ran a 16-10 to break Cam Daly's old meet record, or course record of 16-12. So he got a couple seconds on him there. Forrest, how do you feel? Uh, I feel great. Uh, our team came out and we had a pretty nice showing. Uh, I think out of the top seven, we only missed two spots. So wow, that's, that's pretty good. yeah, that's yeah. definitely awesome. Uh, so what were what were your goals personally coming into today? Did you know about that that record and want to go after it? Yeah, I was eyeing it. Uh, me and Cam are pretty good buddies, so I was uh, I wanted to take down his record this year, <laughs> but uh, I I don't know. I, in the race, I wasn't thinking about it at all uh, until I kind of saw the clock and I was like, wow, I could I could get it. I was really thinking about. Uh, working with my teammate Eli and uh, trying to drop the uh, Merrimack Valley kid and go one two. Yeah, awesome. You guys have a pretty uh, a pretty good team. Uh, were you trying out some different things today, team wise? Um, no, nah, we just we just kind of treat it like a I don't want to say we treat it like a workout, but it's just kind of a hard effort. Yeah. You know, it's it's like. It basically is a workout because it's the hardest effort we're going to do. Um, and so I think we just did what we always do and uh, results change, but I think the effort was the same. Yeah, yeah, and definitely like States is coming up soon, so probably to have a different sort of mindset makes sense yeah. of it being a little closer to a workout, even though you're going to try your best no matter what, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, so tell me a little bit about the, the race, how it played out. Uh, so my teammate, Ollie Spencer, he took it out pretty fast. He went through the mile. He claims 455, but <laughs> I saw it, and I would say 452. And uh, and I kind of hung back a little bit with with BD, and um, we went through like five 501, and we got up there about a mile and a half, and it was a big pack of Ollie, me and BD, and then a Tilton kid in Merrimack Valley. We kind of just. Uh, we were all together until the ravine where it goes sharp downhill, which is, it's pretty insane, and then a uh, sharp uphill, uh, and then right after that uphill, we, we started to separate out, And um, but it wasn't big. The Merrimack Valley kid went with us, and then once we got out of the woods, we probably had about 800 to go. Uh, me and BD just kicked it up to another gear, and it was just us two. All right. Seth. Sounds, uh, that was a lot of detail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, so now you've got states coming up pretty soon. I believe your next race, probably, right? Yep. Uh, what are your goals there? Um, as a team, we want to win. Mm -hmm. and we want to, uh, we want to dominate, really. Yeah. Uh, our goal is to, to put at uh, the least five in the top ten. That's our goal. And then individually, I, I'd like to win. But, um, team comes first we got we got a job to do yeah that's awesome awesome mindset hey uh awesome job today tell me a little bit about your favorite part of fall now that we're seeing some fall colors coming out there oh that probably that uh, <laughs> well, i just love I, I love foliage i am a foliage kind of guy like uh, uh, our on on our runs we we just we run along and there's like cornfields they just uh got rid of the corn but it, it's just I love the fall because the colors and the weather is just it's just perfect yeah perfect. perfect for cross country yeah, my favorite season by far all right well hey nice job I'll uh, see you again when I talk to your team yep all right all right thank you